hello 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 and welcome back to another video if this is your first time watching thank you so much if this is your second third fourth time watching whatever how many times that you have watched i thank you for returning uh, back to another one of my videos i just wanted to come on here just to give you all some encouragement um what have fell in my spirit hold up this is your girl lady cam <laughs> Thank you for all my new viewers. I should have introduced myself when I first welcomed you to my channel, but this is me. Um, you can go back and catch all my other videos. Um, you can drop a comment below if you would like to get to know a little bit more about me. But generally what I like to bring on my channel is um, some encouraging words. That may be some cooking videos. I may dabble a little bit into vlog, um, in vlogging. But for the most part, it's just been on my heart to just spend some uh, time with you all encouraging you whether it's for like a minute or two i try and i like short form content so a lot of my videos are pretty short but i don't think that you need a whole lot of time to just encourage somebody um you can replay the video to get the message across what have fell in my spirit um today which is why i'm recording this video and i was kind of hesitant at first just to see how i wanted to get the word out because I do a lot of, like I said, like faith-based uh, content using the word of God to encourage you. But I wanted to give you all something because not everyone believes in God. And I still wanted to leave you all with something that will encourage you. Hopefully, um, it will encourage you um, in the season that you're in now. And it will keep you until, you know, God still has time to work on you. Because it's my prayer that everyone... Um, you know, believes in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and that you live a life that is pleasing unto God. So when we are all gone, and it's time for those gates to open up, that you will be welcomed into the kingdom. So I just wanted to give you something that you can take with you right now, even if you are not a believer. Because there's been a lot, you know, going on in the world, and there's been a lot of people, you know, sad, depressed, um, dealing with anxiety and other things, and they're having trouble with getting through day-to-day -day activities. And it's just one tip that I can give you. Um, and again, it is my prayer that you do uh, make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. In the meantime, while you are still on that journey um, of, you know, accepting him, something that you can do, you know, today, now, to just give yourself hope. Give yourself something to look forward to. And I think that this can be something for, you know, everybody, no matter, like, what your age is, because there are people of different ages, races, and backgrounds that are dealing with you know, that are dealing with things, they're dealing with loss, they're dealing with grief, they're dealing with unemployment, you know, finances, there's, uh, you know, relationship issues, and they're just struggles. But I just want to encourage you to give yourself something to look forward to. Some of the things that I like to do is I like to book trips, and I like to, you know, plan things out. I like to write it down. I like to put it in my phone calendar. I like to put it on my desk calendar. I like to put it in my journal. I like to you know plan things out and i like to look at things to give me something to look forward to so that's my tip for you is to give yourself something to look forward to um like i said i do trips if this can be something like if you're not in a position where you know you can't afford um you know vacation to go you know um out the country do a passport trip or anything like that maybe there's a city in your state that you haven't been to and you can just take you know like a a day trip there if you have the opportunity to uh, live by a body of water to go sit by the water and um, just have you some alone time um just to you know rejuvenate and refresh your thoughts um just plan it out like you can you know pack yourself a lunch get you a lunch bag a cooler or anything like that go to the dollar store if that's what you can afford get you some of your favorite snacks together just take that drive up you know, I just spent some, um, a couple of hours or whatever by the water, have your favorite snacks, you know, come back home and, you know, plan something else. Something um, simple that you can do is I like to try out different uh, teas. So if I'm like feeling down, I'd be like, oh, you know, I bought myself this tea and I'll say, okay, you know, I'm going to look forward to drinking that in the morning. Um, I may buy, you know, different kinds of teas and just give myself something to look forward to each day. Like if I buy a new variety pack of tea. 
I'm like, hey, I'll try one this day, I'll try one, you know, that day, just to give myself something, you know, to look forward to. Um, some people, I don't know, like, if you are the type of person that uh, is, like, creative and likes to make things, again, like, the dollar store is a good option. Um, even going to, like, the thrift store, finding things in there to see, like, what outfit, you know, you can put together uh, for yourself and, you know, just use what you have at home. Um, you know, get dressed up with the outfit that you bought from the Goodwill, the thrift store, whatever, and take you some pretty pictures or whatever. Just get dressed up, put a smile on your face, put some chapstick on, put some lip gloss on, or whatever. Get your little, you know, $10 or less outfit from the Goodwill and take you some pictures. And maybe you can start, you know, just making that like a monthly or like weekly thing where you're putting these outfits together for from the dollar. I mean, not the dollar tree, but some dollar trees do have, um, like t-shirts and stuff in there. I saw maybe, and they have like the little like scarves. Maybe you could take some of those things, you know, throw them on some pants or something, just jazz it up with stuff that you find at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Y'all may be creative like that. That's not my cup of tea. But, um, yeah, so maybe that could be something that you can even turn into a hobby. You may, you know, start posting the pictures and somebody may see it like, oh, you put that together from stuff from the Goodwill. And then they may ask you, you know, give you, give them your size or whatever. And you say, hey, can you go to the store for me and shop for me and see what you can put together for like $20, $25 or something? I don't know. But just give yourself something for, um, something to look forward to. Again, like I said, if it's traveling, those day trips, taking a, you know, trip out of town. Um, you know, going to the, the thrift store, like I said, and just seeing what you can put together, you know, get your creative juices flowing. If it's just, you know, I'm buying you a new flavor of coffee, trying out a new creamer. If there's a new, you know, restaurant that you hear that serves your type, your favorite type of food, maybe it's opening up, you know, places not too far from you, maybe less than like an hour from you for, um, you know, a restaurant in your city that like, hey, you just ride by and you say, oh, they're going to have this restaurant, you know, coming up in, you know, the next couple of months. So that'll give yourself something to look forward to because you want to try it out. Um, there's always something new, you know, coming out at the movies and you know how to do the preview to get you all excited about it. Um, so, you know, just try to, you know, give yourself that grace while you're in this season of being sad or being down. Just give yourself something to look forward to as you keep the journey on. And while you're, you know, waiting and you're keep going and you're keep moving, it is my prayer for you that God will begin to work on your heart, that he will remove all anxiety, depression, any sad feelings or whatever that you may be feeling and you will begin to start to feel his peace and begin to feel his joy. I just wanted to take a few minutes to encourage you all to keep going, keep going, keep going. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.